Hey, Zach with the EC Master here. Uh, today we're taking a look at the ADU-7. Uh, so this is the larger of our dash displays. We'd have two versions of this dash. I've already made a video on the ADU-7 Autosport. Only difference is the connector on that one. It's got a, a nice, like, round, people call it mil-spec style. Um, it's an Autosport, like, CNC aluminum connector. This one has the, the traditional connector we use on the, the ADU-5 and ADU-7. Um, we do give you the connector and terminals with every product that we sell, which is a big cost savings to you, especially on the Autosport stuff. Um, so we got the package open. There's the warranty card. Here's the ADU-7. Give me a second here. These are kind of press fit into the packaging for safety. There's a screen protector on here. So you just peel this off once it's installed. Um, it's actually kind of a nice matte anti-reflective finish on the display itself. Um, I'll set this to the side and get all the stuff out of the package. And we'll talk about each item. Here's the connector for the device. Get this tray out of here. Full set of terminals. These are mounting studs with nuts. These thread into the back of the ADU-7. Um, you can just hand tighten these in. I mean, you can tighten them a little bit. The, the holes are blind. They'll, they'll stop the stud at the end of it, but don't you know, crank on it too hard um, because it, it's designed to stop. And then here's a laminated pinout card that comes with the device. Uh, I love these, they're super useful. They're laminated, you know, even brake cleaner won't kill these things. Um, what I do if I'm doing a quick install, I'll just mark down in Sharpie everything I've connected to each channel, toss it in the car as a reference, throw it in your logbook or your folder documentation for your car. Uh, but it's just super handy as a as documentation for the vehicle. So that's everything that's in the package. Um, to program the ADU, you are gonna use a USB to CAN uh, if you don't already have one. Um, the, the nice thing about the USB to CAN is that you can have one connection on the network. If you have an ADU, a PMU, um, CAN keyboard, you know, any of our CAN bus controlled devices, you can use one connection with the USB to CAN. That is the, the programming inter interface. Um, you can log into all those devices, make setting changes, load new layouts, etc. cetera. Uh, but you don't need to leave it permanently installed in the car. You can plug it up when you need to make changes and remove it when you don't. Um, so that's everything in the box. We'll talk about the ADU-7 now. Um, beautifully machined CNC aluminum case. Um, it's got nice contours on it, nice edges. It's finished nicely and then coated. Um, it's a connector on the back. And then your four mounting studs here, here, and here, uh, all four of them. Um, to decide which size dash you need, I really recommend printing off templates on our website. We've got a paper template for the ADU-5 and ADU-7. Um, I know everybody loves a big display, I do too, um, when it fits. Nothing's worse than getting the dash installed and realizing you can't see the shift lights because your steering wheel is too small or it's too close to the steering wheel. Um, so definitely print it off beforehand, see how it fits. Uh, in some applications, it makes sense for viewing to actually flip it upside down. And that way you can see the shift lights on the bottom. And there's actually a function in the ADU software. You can just flip the display over, super easy. You can kind of reflect it top to bottom. And that way you can see your indicator LEDs here. Um, and you do have 15 indicator LEDs here. I generally use the top bar as a progressive shift light because it's very visible, lots of brightness. These on the side I'll use for warnings or remind me or maybe turn on blue if it's logging, if certain conditions are met. Um, and you can use them, let's say you want to have it blink when your turn signals are on. You can use it for that or you can just use an icon on the display of the dash itself to tell you a certain function is on or off. Um, so like on this one back here, you can see battery indicators on our battery voltage on our power supply is below the threshold we set. So it lights up red and when something's off like this check engine light, it's ghosted gray. Um, and you can create those kind of watermark icons anywhere on the dash that you want. We don't charge you extra for the layout software. Um, so the ADU software gives you full control over the layout. We've had customers mimic their factory displays that they have something iconic like you know, a BMW or a Lotus dashboard. You can go through and make it look like the factory dashboard and make it look completely OEM if you want, or you can make it as crazy and wild as you want. Um, you can have startup splash screens, different backgrounds, layouts, textures. Um, different styles of gauges and readouts, and you can have it you know, basically conditionally change. If something happens or a certain reading gets out of spec, you can have it pop up on a banner, a warning light, change pages, anything. I mean, really lots and lots of flexibility. So when you're comparing price point, that's one of the reasons the ADU-7 is not you know, 300 bucks, because we put a lot of money into a bright display you can see in all lighting conditions. You've got all the flexibility of designing the layouts yourself, uh, the really nice machine enclosure, uh, logging, Every ADU comes with full logging. All you do is connect up a USB port, like the connection here, it's shown on the front and back. You plug in a flash drive uh, and it logs to flash drive up to 500 hertz per channel. 
and that's super handy because if you've got, you know, let's say an endurance car, you've got multiple drivers, each driver has their own USB flash drive, you pop it in, pop it out, and you're not stuck in the pits waiting on data to transfer. You can analyze the data immediately. Um, ADUs do have predictive lap timing. You can use a beacon or our GPS to CAN. They do have a three axis gyroscope and accelerometer. You can log all of that data. You've got eight digital inputs for like wheel speeds, um, a crankshaft position sensor for like attack input if you don't have that over CAN bus. Um, you've got eight analog inputs like for pressure or temperature sensors and two outputs you can use to trigger relays. Um, so if you want to trigger any kind of accessory system, you run out of outputs on the ECU or inputs on the ECU, you can use this as an expansion for that or use it independent of an ECU. Anyway, hugely flexible product, lots of logging capacity, beautiful bright display you can see in any conditions, um, rugged housing, connector and terminals included. We don't charge you for any unlock features. Um, so really phenomenal value and, and a really, really professional grade motorsports product with the ADU7.